the first round draft pick team is done. The second round draft pick team is done. And now we are on to the third round. If we want to do fourth and stuff, we can. But that's really up to you guys. If you have other draft ideas, let me know. Let's randomize the team as we do. I'm going to look at you guys. I'm going to let this one go super long, all right? In fact, let's talk about fantasy hockey. Just kidding. All right, Calgary. We got pick number 23. I don't know what it is with us getting late picks recently, but that is not ideal. Anyway, let's see what we can find here. Who went in the third round? Um, Bergeron did not. Carlson did not. All right, this could take a while here. Jake Gensel and Chris Letang. So he's probably 87. Yeah, okay. Um, $6 million isn't a whole lot, actually. I kind of expected it to be worse. So let's go with Jake Gensel here as our first pick. 87 overall. Uh, probably not the best first pick in the world, but we don't really have a whole lot to choose from. Kind of curious to see what we have for goalies. We probably have quite a bit, honestly. But, okay, never mind. I'm wrong. We got Freddy. Freddie Anderson, and anyone else here? Yeah, we got two in a row, Merzlikens and Bennington as well. So, yeah, we've we've got some decent choices for goalies. I'm going to, hmm, do I do it? No, I'm not going to take Freddie. I'm not going to take him. I've taken him before, and he did not perform for me. I am going to grab Vinny Trocek, 4.7 million, 86 overall, and he went at position number 64. To the Florida Panthers. Latang is still here. I'm not too sure how many more rounds he'll be here for. But I do want to grab him. I sort of had an idea that he would stick around one more. Alright, so this seems like a pretty good opportunity to take him actually. And then let's go ahead and grab a goalie after this I'm thinking. So we have that down and ready. Goalies. Who? Okay, Freddie Anderson is still here. What the heck? Okay, well, uh, yeah. Let's go at just I'm just double checking to be sure. Yep, there it is. All right, Freddie. Bjork Strand is actually a third rounder, 89th overall to the Columbus Blue Jackets. He has a contract of 5.4 million. And yeah, he looks pretty decent. So let's go ahead and grab him. And then we basically have our first line, it looks like. I swear I remember seeing a lot more third round picks. Okay, Riley Smith. There it is. 84 overall. I'm pretty much just taking whichever player I find. And yeah, as soon as I encounter them, you're drafted. Brian Rust as well. Okay, 84 overall, 3.5 million. And he went 80th in the draft. So yeah, that's a good pickup for us. Is that That's the third pen we have already. Anthony Duclair went 80th overall as well. 83, yeah, and 3 million. That's a good contract for sure. Ilya Sorokin. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab him for sure. 83 overall. And third round as well. That's a solid pickup for us. So our goalies are done. Ooh, Dadanov and Essa Lindell. Both of these guys. Hopefully we can end up grabbing them both. But for now, we need defensemen. So I'm grabbing Lindell for sure. And Dadanov is still here. So I'm going to grab him now. Yep, there we go. It looks like we are actually... Starting to run low on cap space already. So we got to be a little cautious here. Alex Kalorn. His contract 4.4, uh, we can we can eat that, sure. Blake Coleman and Zdeno Chara, 1996, the year I was born, this man was drafted. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Chara because we do need defensemen. Uh, Blake Coleman on almost five million, that seems excessive. Edler is a third rounder. He went 91st overall, and he's only on a 3.5 contract. So let's go ahead and grab him, and hopefully. Oh man, how's our cap space doing? 18 million and we still need two more defensemen and four more forwards. Oh boy. I've kind of had to skip past some players because we genuinely just can't afford the cap. So I'm going to take McNabb for now, who is a third rounder and only making 2.5 million. So that will be a good grab for us. We have 16 left. Nick Cousins there. Yeah, 1.5 million. Absolutely. 68th overall. Playmaker, center, and we only have one center so far. I mean, one of the wingers could probably play center, but either way, that is just what we needed. Oscar Sunkfist. He is an 80 overall center. He went third round to the Pity Pens. 2.7. That's, yeah, that's definitely doable. So now we are in need of three players total. Um, a center and a left wing. And a defenseman, but really you just need two forwards and a defenseman. I had to go so far down to find third rounders. They are all gone. So it's basically between these two right now. Um, I mean, we kind of can take both of them, actually, because I doubt Russell's going to be gone next round. So 
Yeah, let's take Delorier for now. And then I'll take Russell as well. Ooh, or we could take Michael Stone. Maybe I'll take Michael Stone. Yeah, let's go with Michael Stone. All right, so now we simply need one more forward. And we actually have a lot of cap space. So um, that is unfortunate, but you never know. There is a lot more undrafted players in the NHL than I knew about. So that is very cool to find out, actually. But um, we just got three in a row here. So Filpula, VC, and Andreoff. So it's really just a preference. Um, we do kind of need a center. So maybe I'll go with Andreoff or Filpula. We got a two-way forward. Ooh, a grinder. Fourth line grindy. 4L squared. Yeah, let's go with this lad right here. Here is a look at the draft. This is going to be interesting. I'm not too sure what to think of this team. I sort of have a feeling we're going to be good for some reason, but I'm not too sure why. Best lines. All right, who is in here that shouldn't be? I'm assuming we might have to take someone out. Maybe not, though. Third round. Looks like everyone is in the third round. Okay, we are actually good. So apparently Latang just doesn't get along with anyone. He kind of gets along with Stone, and that is about it. So, nice. Love that. I don't know why I bother even changing the lines, because it never works. The game always just apparently knows the best lines anyway. I change them, and then they're like, ah, your team sucks now. Also, Yaros should not be here. It should be McNabb. Get in there. Boom. There we go. All right, so, yeah. That's, that's it. This is the team. We are rocking a bunch of third rounders here. I'm just going to go through quick and check again. And defense, third rounders, yes sir, and in net, Freddy and Sorokin. Okay, not sure what to think. You know what? Screw it. We're going to make the playoffs with 40, 46 wins. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. And I'm going to say that Trocek has the most points. I'll say he gets 71. Blazing hot, 0-2-1, 0-3-1, 0-4, 0-5-1 start. Uh, there we go, finally. All right, it was fun while it lasted, but clearly playoffs are not... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's still pretty early. We could bounce back from this. But I'm thinking 10-3. to Holy crap. I was going to come change the lines, but then I just saw that this line I actually put together, Riley Smith, Cousins, and Duclair. Let's see what happens when I do best lines. Um, oh, it's actually keeping them together now. All right, and then I just have to take out Yaros. Four, McNabb, and we are good to go again. Um, I'm actually going to send Yaros down just in case. If he gets claimed on waivers, then whatever. I can't use him anyway. So defense, let's send Yaros down. Confirm. Boom. Yeah, I didn't want to touch the Riley Smith line because he has 25 points in 20 games right now. And he's on the second line, so he's doing something right. I'm not sure why I'm doing this because I'm likely going to stop at the trade deadline anyway. But... Anyway, yeah, simulation. Let's go. It's still pretty early on to say that 46 wins is not really a possibility, but it would be naive of me to say that it's looking like we're on track for that, to say the least. I at least want to make the playoffs, lads. Come on. 24, 25, and 3. Yo, we suck. Holy, what is going on? Went on like the biggest losing streak of all time. So I love that for us. I don't know. We can try to pick someone up at the deadline, I guess. But, like, I really doubt that any of these players went in the third round. Um, Klingberg, when did he go? They're going to get taken. He went fifth round. Holy crap. These players are just going to get stolen from me. I already know it while I'm looking. So we were looking decent for a minute there. And then I don't know what happened, but we just had an absolute meltdown. And now... Playoffs are looking severely unlikely. Yeah, I can't find any players that went in the third round. So I think we're basically just out of luck here, unfortunately. Nothing really worth grabbing. Okay, well, whatever. Onwards and upwards. My favorite screen is still there. It's still in the game. It just doesn't last very long. So Klingberg and Lucic headed to Seattle in exchange for a first. Mateos and Honka. I thought it was going to be Julius Honka, but it wasn't. Uh, Uyghur, Quail, and Domi for a first. Beckman and Schneider. There you have it. It's not even like I can go do best lines and just hope for the best because this is best lines. This is what the game chose for me. So the third round draft was not it, ladies and gentlemen. We were doing all right for a minute there, and then we just had a complete meltdown. 
and that was an awful season. I don't think I really want to do fourth rounders because I, I just don't see it really working. Like first and second, I think you have a genuine shot. And then after that, it's going to be pretty tough. So I guess we're going to have to think up some new draft ideas. And Riley Smith finished with 65 points in 82 games. Not so good considering he was at 25 and 20. So he finished second last in the Pacific with 71 points, only one point ahead of the Canucks. Where would he finish in the league? That is concerning. If we finish second last in the league, that's going to be awful. But Oh my, oh my, we are way down there. Yeah, we finished 30th. That's great. What a finish from the lads. All right, well, player stats. Let us have a look. 65 out of, 63 out of Cousins. The heck happened there? Gensel was 61. Trocek 55 was a dash 33. Dash 39 out of Brian Rust. Well, let's just scroll through all the players anyway. There you go. And then in net, we have Freddy who did awful. This is why I don't draft him. <laughs> and then Sorokin did all right. So note to self, never draft Freddy ever again. And we can go up to the entire league now just to see what happened there. So Ben Bishop, 44 wins, a 914, 915 from Kemper. Yeah, a lot of talented goalies here. Cal Peterson got an 898 and still had 38 wins. So clearly the players carried that team. Let's have a look at the skaters. Eichel with 102 playing for the Hurricanes. Cooch, 95. Malkin, 93. All right, there you go. President's Trophy went to New Jersey. So let's actually go and view their lines just to see what makes them so darn special. Where's view lines? Can I still do that? Oh, our season's over. I guess I can't do that. That's stupid. Oh, wait, actually, no. I sim past the playoffs and everything. So did New Jersey win the President's and the Stanley Cup? Holy crap. I'm going to have to go look at their contracts, but here we go. The trophy, Stanley Cup, New Jersey, Presidents, New Jersey. Uh, the Campbell went to Nashville, and then obviously the Wales went to New Jersey. Eichel with the Art Ross and the Hart. Carlson gets the Norris. Kucherov with the Lady Bing. Trevor Zegris with the Calder. Ryan O'Reilly with the Con Smythe. Vesna goes to Fleury. Kakinen gets the William M. Jennings. The Bill Masterton goes to Alexiak. Lockhart gets the Jack Adams. O'Reilly with the Selkie. Michael with the Lindsay, Ovi with the Rocket Richard. All right, New Jersey, let me view your contracts here. What makes you so darn good, huh? Let me find out. They did have Ovi, so that is certainly a good piece to have right there. 94 overall. They had Ryan O'Reilly, who went up to 91 overall. Tara Vinen, Horvat, Pareko, Yanmark at 84. Is that where he starts, or? He must have gone up a little bit, no? Rasmus Anderson, Robbie Fabry. Oh, wow, they are. They, they are solid, for sure. They do have a good team. And in net, I can't remember. Oh, it was Kemper. Yeah, he played very good as well. 87 overall. All right. So, and they had David Riddick as a backup. Wow. Wow, they had a good team. Their team is not going to be that good next year. They got to have some contracts expiring or something. So anyway, New Jersey absolutely cleaned up this simulation. They won the President's Trophy. They won the Stanley Cup without ever going to a Game 7. So that is a pretty convincing fashion. And they definitely did have a good team. I got to give it to them. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Although this one was a little bit of flop. I feel like there was a streak there where we wouldn't make the playoffs ever. And honestly, I don't remember the last time we haven't made the playoffs. It could be recent. I don't exactly remember. But I feel like we've at least made the playoffs in the last several. Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, leave suggestions for drafts down below. And I will see you soon.